Hey billionaires, welcome to my channel and today we will be making deep fried apple pie tacos. Once you have all your ingredients, meet me in the kitchen. First you want to start by cutting out perfectly shaped circles out of your tortilla. As you can see here, I'm being very resourceful using an upside down ramekin and a knife. You can use a cookie cutter, it would be much easier I promise. Make sure you keep your circles close together so you get the most out of each tortilla. Once you've done that, you want to heat some vegetable oil on the stove to about 6. Once it's hot and ready to go, you want to drop those tortillas down in the oil, flipping them pretty frequently so that they don't brown too much on each side. After they've been in for a few seconds, you want to then bend at the center using tongs, two forks, or two butter knives, depending on how creative you can get. And be sure to not burn yourself. I burned myself a few times during this method and that is exactly why I am very fearful of hot grease. <laughs> be sure to circle back to each one making sure the fold at the center is nice and firm and making sure that they don't brown too much on each side. Once those are done you want to wring them dry of oil and transfer them over to a taco tray or an upside down muffin tin like I did and you want to toss them in cinnamon and sugar. You want to do this while it's still warm, allowing the cinnamon and sugar to stick firmly to each taco. Once you've done that, you want to heat a skillet to about 5 on the stovetop, adding in butter and chopped apple. You can use a red apple here if you like, but I like my apple pie with green. Then some cinnamon and brown sugar. I'll put the exact measurements below guys so you don't have to worry about trying to eye exactly what I did. Um, I'm pretty good at my measurements by now so I know how many scoops it takes to get what I listed below. And then add in some water. And mix them up a little bit. Allow these dry ingredients to sit for a little bit, allowing them to melt down into a water consistency. Once you've done that, you want to add in cornstarch. What the cornstarch does is turn that water consistency into more of a syrup consistency, which makes pie filling. And a little bit of lemon. Don't forget the lemon, guys. That extra zing taste in your pie filling, you'll definitely tell the difference with, with it versus without it. After you've done that, let it simmer for a bit, letting all the ingredients mix well together and the apples to soften. Once your apple pie filling is complete, you want to transfer that over to a table so that you can fill your tacos. Each taco should take about one to two scoops down the center, depending on how big your scoops are. I'm sure you have good judgment, so you'll be able to tell what's too full. And then adding on some whipped cream on top, you can also use Cool Whip depending on how you like to top your desserts. Then you want to add in a little bit of caramel. You should be using a tip on your caramel so that it doesn't come out as thick as mine did. I totally couldn't find my tips this day, so. And there you have it guys. Apple pie tacos. This is one of my favorite desserts. It's perfect for children. Write below in the comments and let me know how you like it guys. Thanks again for joining me this Thursday and every Thursday here on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend to become a billionaire. Follow me on all my social networks and watch more of my videos. See you guys again next week. Bye.